You nervous? Oh. You ready though? I like it your own time. Good luck. Thank you. Hey Sashi. Hey guys, welcome back to this adventure. So guys, today's vlog is gonna be, first of all, we're gonna finish putting makeup on. Okay, that's, that's where we're gonna get with this vlog. Um, secondly, Michaela is currently in there doing an interview. So we're gonna shh while she does that. She and I have already been up and been to the pool. Why, on top of all the chaos I have going on in my house, because sometimes you have to take a breath from the chaos and you have to run away. And this little boy has been begging and I've been promising to go to the pool and we have not been because guys, we haven't, well, let's see, what is today? I don't even know what today is. I think we've been back from my mom's or off of vacation, our summer vacation for about four days now, five, four or five days, depending on what today is. And I don't even know. Um, and I just came straight in the gate even after like a nine hour drive and started working on this house. And I'm beyond exhausted, not just physically, but mentally too, because there is just, there's just so much going on between us staying up still trying to find a house, um, trying not to buy it virtually. And we've never been in the situation where we are actually selling a house and buying a house. So we've always, like our first house that we bought together, um, we still have it. We have a renter in it and it's in the panhandle of Florida. So that's our property. So we didn't have to sell it, we just had to rent it. And then when we lived in the UK and stuff, we lived on base. So that was nice, you pack up your stuff and leave. Now we have a house that we have to sell and I know most people are like, oh yeah, it's, it's high market and yeah, like, don't get me wrong, that is good for us. But we also have to buy in this market, which is really awful for us. So anyways, we won't get started or make this video about that. So today is, is we're going to get dressed and Michaela's going to do her interview. And Christian is currently um, in there. He is, he's been allowed a little bit of game time, an hour for Roblox time, um, just so I could have ran and got coffee because you guys know that I'm trying to give up all caffeine or at least 90% of it, but I've already packed up my coffee maker. <laughs> so I've just been packing and packing and packing. And this is just the tip of packing is no more than just trying to show the house. Um, but I did pack up the coffee maker. And so, because I've been trying to give up coffee anyway, so I was like, Hey, it's gone, but <laughs> I cheated. I went to Duncan. So let's get dressed. I don't know. Caroline's been talking about things that she needs to do today. We'll, we'll just see where this vlog takes us. Let me clear off all my counter space. So currently, I'm living out of to-go makeup bags, and I have no idea where anything is. be done well guys before we go see how her interview went I remember making vlogs like this when we first moved in here and we were making vlogs and y'all were running through asking me where I needed where y'all needed to put the dirty clothes and stuff this is like weird that I'm having a flashback moment I remember this. how'd it go oh it's starting to echo in here again because there's not no, 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 nothing in here I know like everything's off the countertops and stuff. And y'all might think she's tall, but she's standing on a stool, cheater. Making myself taller than I am. <laughs> All right, kid, how'd it go? Uh, I didn't get it, because he already was turned off because of how far we're gonna live away. Oh my gosh. How does he know? We don't even have a house yet. he asked me, and he asked me about like the local area we would live in, and I told him, and he was like, well, I've gave people chances who've lived out there, and I just don't think it's gonna work out for you or be in your best fit for you. And I was like, wow. Okay. 
But then he was like, well, we could do some business here, and I, you can give me your parents' email address, and I can help them find a house. No, tell them I already have a realtor, and somebody with that attitude is not really a go-getter, so that probably would not be the person for me. He's like, yeah, you can just send them their email and their criteria <laughs> if they want a house, and I can help them. He's like, because I just went out their house for yesterday, and he was like, I know how far the drive was, and the area that we're trying to live in. He went on this whole spill. Trying to promote his own business. Trying to promote his own business, but then I can't have... Mm -hmm. The job. job. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am. You guys know y'all followed me. Like I'm. I'm a people person, and usually in five seconds of meeting you, at least two minutes. Give me two minutes, and I can pretty much sum you up. That's just how it is. It's not being judgmental. It's not being anything. But there's just vibes people give off. There's either arrogance. There's humbleness. There's just things people instantly give off no matter if you're trying to cover it up or not. We went to look for a house in North Carolina when I was there visiting my mom. And um, we had a realtor show as a house. I instantly got in the car with Michaela and I was like, she's not going to be our realtor. And I text Josh because Josh was still here in Florida. I was doing this part by myself. And I was like, thank you. I know somebody had gave him that name. I was like, but she will not be helping us. Um, because I'll show off the gate, I could tell she was just money oriented, straight business. And if you're trying to sell me a house, that's not going to work. Like, you got to know my needs. Like, she didn't even ask what my needs were. I don't know. So, I luckily found what is our realtor now. And he even said, I have no idea how you found me. Because he is like an hour from where we're looking. He's like, I'm still confused. How did you find me? Like, he lives in another state. No, he lives, well, yeah, he does. He lives in he South crossed, Carolina. That's or right. In North Carolina. He crossed the board. He was like, you should never have got a hold of me. He's like, but I love it. I don't mind helping you out. And he has been a godsend. Like, he is my realtor. Like, this is going to, this is who's going to buy our house with us. Um, so, he's been amazing, beyond amazing. And he kind of just already has the feel of what, what I'm looking for. And he's so polite because someone, we walk in, I'm like, and he's like, well, let's just keep looking. <laughs> oh, so, and it's funny, guys, because everybody has cameras in their house now. That's just what they do. Mm -hmm. And so when you're in there, he'll go, well, we'll step outside and we'll talk. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> so, anyways, sorry you didn't get the job. That just means that God's got something better lined up for you. You got to stop getting so I emotional. I more than... I know, she was emotional a second ago, but I mean... I was like, Mom, it's forcing a vlog on me, and I'm over here in tears. I'm like, please just... I was just trying to get in... Give me a minute, and then I'll tell the vlog yes. what happened. I was just trying to go in and check on her, honestly, and had the vlog ready, and she was emotional. Anyway, she didn't want to share that with you guys, and that's fine. Um, but I want you to realize that if you let God lead the way, it'll be amazing. So I'm getting so worked It's just stressful, because then you're moving, and you have to go and be there with no money, have to pay for all this stuff, and then be out of a job for like... Three, four months. How am I supposed to get the money? And it's, just, it's so stressful. She's already got so much worked up in her head. And yes, I do. And currently she has a job. Currently she's making money. And life doesn't always revolve around money, Michaela. But I'm not saying it does. But when you don't, when you don't help financially, which is not, which is fine. Excuse me. Besides food in the house. Uh, excuse me. Other than that, I pay for. Excuse. I need money to <laughs> to provide those needs, like. I just need it fast. To pay your phone payment? Phone payment, car insurance. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's it. Okay, yeah. That is part of N21, kiddo. Responsibilities start creeping in. Okay, guys, so stay tuned. Have no idea what we're going to do after this, but we're going to figure it out. Um, what's currently taking place? It's too short, so I'm setting on this. Uh, cute. Yeah, and see, it's cute, but no one wants it. And it's from Cottonon, too. Like, what, a big brand, so I just don't understand why. No Somebody's not wanting it. it. Yeah, and I have it down for like eight bucks. So, and I, but it might be the picture. Maybe. So I'm just trying to maybe take a better Brighten picture it. and see if anybody would want it. Cause currently I took it like 11 o'clock at night and was using my ring light. And sometimes with the ring light and stuff, some pictures just look really bad. And while it's kind of decent and looks nice in my room, I'm trying to maybe get some better pictures of certain stuff to see if it go get rid of that paw and that paw. I'll probably get rid of this paw. Like, try to get rid of this paw at the yard sale. None of it goes before we leave. Currently want to get that picture down. Your track picture. I guess we could just put it in my closet. Because I'm scared it's not going to fit behind my bed. At least it's a nail and not tape. But it didn't rip any paint off the wall, so. Guys, look. Nathan hasn't noticed this, but look. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. He, oh, did he raise Kane? Well, he was not happy. He's like, never again. But it, like, literally took the paint off. So we're not allowed to remove anything else until... 
our house is shown because if you can't see it, it's kind of like even showing the drywall that gets ripped off so much paint. So, this is under that there's like a weird little curve thing. There's an angle here. Just don't be beating that up on the wall. I removed it. Nothing came off. Yay! No, but none of the wall came off. <laughs> so that's a plus. In there, but that's trash. Nothing. So I just need to pack these. So do we? Well, want... can I just put them? You know what? We'll just. Yeah, that's fine for now. Put them in here for now. Okay. There. It's behind this door is our next project. O, M, G. It is a hot mess. I think I'm going to start with this and let me see what cans are still good, what cans are bad, and to see what we're going to be able to use probably in the next month while I'm here. that we did it <laughs> so the cabinet's done and look who made it home in the meantime Caroline they haven't even saw your face come back currently sold her yellow costume from Halloween my mustard yep she sold that so she's trying to ship that get it in a box and get it shipped okay you moved all your squishmallows good and then all these I these, gotta go put them up here somewhere. Yeah, these mystery ones have to go up. All that has to be cleared off that end table. This has to be put up. There can't be anything on the floor. All your shoes have to be up. Fun stuff, I know. You need help? I throw everything in my closet. We can't do well. I mean, yeah, as long as it's they ain't looking at the closet. So. Truly, as long as it's neatly done, you're fine. So I guess Caroline decided that she's gonna wait. We were gonna go with her later today and look at cars. That's in a whole different vlog of what, oh my geez. So, anyway, she was going to go look at cars and we were going to do that, but she's a little worried because, I don't know. We, we'll just wait till when it's time to look at cars and we'll go over all that stuff. So, she decided today is not going to be the best day. She's going to finish just packing her stuff up like this right here and getting it situated for pictures tomorrow, for house pictures. And I think I'm going to end this vlog. Why? Because I'm so tired. And it's only six o'clock and I can go to bed. Hurts. Your feet hurt? From working all day. I know. So we're all just exhausted. I'm gonna say goodbye. Love you all. See you in the next. Bye guys.